It's time for Tuesday Terror, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Those after you. <laughs> I worry endlessly Were I to have a heart It will steal an ache for him Now that he's gone I know the kind of prayers fear faces And so I am aware of their fear Of their respect of their worry. I listen to their cries and pleadings when they see me, but that is something he never knew, never noticed. I am sure of this, he is mine after all, my bastard and offspring, the river born within me, and I understand him more than he believes. If my dear life has not touched him, it is only because of me. What can I do now to find him? What should I do once I do find him? It is an arduous world and I have a job to do. Time cannot stretch more for me, not even for me. But what more can you do? We are looking insensibly, time is on our side. What do you know, my child? I bring nothing but news that has already been spoken. Natura's little trip has cost them more than they are ready to cheer for manners. I do not like it when you speak ill of your siblings, bre, nor when you are unclear. Oh, mother, but I was born to be unclear, was I not? <laughs> Nothing is what it seems these days. Our little brother betrayed us, face drawing half in human devotion, and Natura is... well, still alive, which is quite the achievement. Have you spoken with her? Mother, mother life. Oh, no, 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 even I try to get all, get close to her in this time and space. Only Natura does, and only because they have no other option. <sighs> Bre, child, why do I suspect you are not being truthful to me? Mm, but when I have a big mother. <laughs> all in time, all in time. You know I am faithful to our family. You are faithful to yourself first. <laughs> Don't judge the creatures' natures once you have released them into the wild. I do not have time for this, child. The world is old and loves to suffer while calling out my name. What you came to say, say it out loud. Don, I hate to be the bearer of such news. My little brother knows how to move and moves fast, mother. But I've had my eye on something slower that has caught his interest. Something... Pleasure. Speak. 
Be clear, child. Remember that last human he left untouched at the life? We have found him. He reeks of wax and blood, quite a funny little human. And? And he is looking for your son while he waters the street he was in Crimson. When you say we, do you refer to you and your siblings? Or not to. His solar is... <laughs> and thrilling. Calls us, and he cannot move as fast as our little brother. I suspect you have plans for this human. Oh, trust a mother to know how her children work. <laughs> he is a special to our brother. A little show she'll work, and if not, at least you will have him entertained and too far away to bother you. I do not enjoy the idea of manipulating humans. Far too brittle. We have nothing to lose, mother. And your son has had quite a running start. Show me the human. As you wish, mother. Stains all over him. Interesting. Huh? Our brother now surely where to look. And so, mother? When have you ever needed my permission, Bre? I only ask you and your siblings for what is mine. Bring my son back. <laughs> My pleasure! Hi. I'm David Orion Pena, writer and producer of Dos After You. This is an independent podcast. If you want to be part of our community and support it, you can join now our Patreon at patreon.com slash you. Another great and zero-cost way of supporting it is to subscribe, rate, and review it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts, and spread the word and share it with your friends. The voice of Vere is Matt D. McGregor. The voice of death is Violeta Serrano. Thank you for listening, and remember, record yourself. Seal may be listening. We'd like to thank our Patreons for their support. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And so today we celebrate Eli and Casper Oliver. Thank you for the past tickets. Nos gustaría agradecer I can hear the bottles on the breeze now, every day. I hung them all up on the big tree outside my kitchen window, and they sparkle and shimmer in the sun. I walk through them sometimes, tapping the glass and hearing them chime against each other. I wonder if these messages could still get to their intended destination, or if that time and place happened long ago and far away. I think some of them were just tossed out into the water, not really intending to end up anywhere specific. I meant for this island to be my own paradise. I truly did. It had everything I thought I needed, which was essentially just solitude. But now that I've been here, and now that I've read this letter, I can't help but see everything I've left behind. 
Glass Letters is a new audio drama podcast about loneliness, letters, and found families. Available now wherever you listen to podcasts. You're listening to Tuesday Terrors on the Mutual Audio Network. Tomorrow is our weekly anthology for science fiction and fantasy as Lothar Tuppen brings you Wednesday Wonders. Subscribe to the full Mutual Audio Network feed for every day of amazing audio, or find the Wednesday Wonders feed in your favorite podcast player. And thank you for listening, everybody. This is the Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.